Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial, I'll be going over a new feature in After Effects 2018. That new feature is Master Properties. With Master Properties, you can customize templates quickly and easily without having to duplicate comps for each version. This is great for keeping your project files nice and neat. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here I have a composition with an animation. I'm happy with it, but I need to make several versions for different scenarios. Let's dive in and set this up with Master Properties. The first thing I'll do is open up the Essential Graphics panel by going to Window, Essential Graphics. In the Essential Graphics panel, I need to select the Master Composition, so I'll click the drop down and choose the name of the composition I'm in, Title Template. That opens up a few more options, so I'll go ahead and change the name to Text Template. There's a solo supported properties button because not all properties are supported right now. So if I click this button, you can see in the timeline that all of the supported properties are revealed. Then there's a set poster time button, and that basically just changes this thumbnail to whatever the playhead is currently at. So if I brought it over here and hit set poster time, you can see it changes here. This big empty space here is where we'll drag all of our properties that we want to add to this template. And below there's an add comment button if you wanted to add any comments to it. And there's also an export motion graphics template, which means that you can export these animations when they're done to Premiere. And then you can edit it in Premiere without ever having to come back to After Effects, which is super neat. Okay, so let's set up a master position and scale for the text and line. That way we can move those independently from the background. I'll go up to layer new null object. I'll change the name to text control and then I'll parent all my mats, my text, and my line to that null. Then I'll select the null and pull up its position and scale with P and S on the keyboard. I'll highlight both and then I'll drag them up into the central graphics panel. You can see it's been added in here, and now I know that I'll be able to change those properties without having to dive back into the composition again. Next, I'll set up the text. So I'll choose the first text layer, and I'll twirl it down until I get to source text. Then I'll just drag up the source text into the essential graphics panel. Here, I can change the name so it's not just source text. I can change it to text line 1, and then I'll click away. I also want to change the color of the text. But unfortunately, there's not an option in here for color. So I'll need to add one myself. I'll go to Effect, Generate, Fill. Here, I'll change the color to white again. And then with my layer highlighted in the timeline, I'll double tap U. And that pulls up all your edited properties. So I'll select that fill color and I'll drag it into the Essential Graphics panel so that now it is editable in the template. I'll change the name to text line one color and that's good to go. I'll go ahead and repeat this process for the other two text layers. I also want to add the color of the line so I'm going to twirl that down until I get to its stroke color and then I'll add that as well. Change the name to line color and I'll click away. For the background, I want to add the color of the background and I also want to add the opacity so that if I ever wanted an alpha channel, I could have that as well. So I'll twirl it down and get to my fill color, drag that in, and then I'll hit T on the keyboard to bring up opacity and drag that in as well. I'll change the names to reflect that they're the background and then we'll be all set. So with all that taken care of, we're ready to start versioning this out. So I'll go over to my project panel and I'll drag the title template over to the new composition button. And that'll create a new composition with the title template already in it. I'll rename the composition to title one. When I go into it, you can see I already have my title template in here. And if I twirl it down, you'll see that I have a new section here called master properties. And when I twirl that down, you'll see all the properties that we set up previously in the pre-comp. Now, when I'm making changes, I need to make sure I do it here in Master Properties and not in the Essential Graphics panel, as that'll change the original. So I'll move my playhead down in time so I can see how everything looks at the end, and then I can start making some changes. 
So I'll start by moving it over to the left and maybe I'll shrink it a little bit and I'll change some colors around too. So I'm happy with the colors now, I just want to change the text. It's not obvious, but if you right click on the text properties and choose edit value, that's how you change the text. And I can do that for all three text layers. So now that everything's good to go on this one, I'm realizing that I like the scale of this much better than I liked in the original comp. So rather than going back into the master comp and changing it there, what I can do is use this button here called the push to master comp, and that changes it in the master comp so that all new duplicates will have this scale by default. If I decided that I wanted my type to remain white, I could also use the button to the left of it called pull from master comp, and then I could change the colors back to the default. So I think this version is done, it's time to make a new one. So I'll go into my project panel and I'll duplicate it with Command D, to have Title 2, and I'll open up that new composition. For this version, I'd like to have it on an image, so I need to have a transparent background. I also need to have an image, so I've got one in my project panel that I'll drag in. So right now you can't see it, but if I change my background opacity to 0%, then all of a sudden I have my alpha channel. I'll select the image and I'll scale it down just so it fits into the composition a little bit better. And then I'll get to work on my master properties. So I'll move the position a little bit. And I definitely want to shrink it some. And then I'll get to work on some of the colors. And I think that's looking pretty good. This is definitely not Orlando, Florida, so I will change that text as well. And I think that that one's good to go. So you can see it gets really fast once you have a formula down. It's a little bit of extra work up front, but it totally speeds up the workflow once you get past that first step. I'll shrink my work area down and I'll ram preview and you can see everything's working just fine. Alright guys, that covers the basics of Master Properties. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more tutorials on After Effects and Premiere, check out our channel because we're adding new tutorials all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.